Hi, this is High School Survival. Well, it's been a long time. This is going to be kind of a I'm back video, I guess. Uh, just going to show a couple things. Uh, it's been a long time because my stinking camera decided to crap out on me. Uh, finally got it working again. I don't know how well it's working. This is the first thing I filmed on it uh, since last spring. Um, but it is working again, so uh, I'm just going to try and kind of hold it as steady as possible to keep from uh, shaking you guys up. Uh, so, just go over here now, try and do it slow. By the way, Merry Late Christmas, everyone. <laughs> That's got to come down soon. Um, first thing I'd like to show you... Uh, I made a Goodwill stop about two weeks ago, and I think I got some good deals there. Um, but probably the biggest ones are these. Uh, they had two computer UPSs sitting at Goodwill, and they were each going for four ninety nine, so five bucks a piece. Uh, this is one. That's one of them, and then that's the other one sitting back there, used for this little computer here. Uh, they were five bucks a piece. They both need new batteries, but the surge protection. Well, the other one, this one has surge protection right here. This other, this other one does not. This other one is strictly a UPS. This one here is like a two, three hundred dollar UPS. Uh, and so, considering it only needs, you know, forty bucks spent on new batteries, uh, I might just sell it for parts because it's worth more than five bucks. And so, I just, I saw these sitting there at Goodwill, and like, I decided I had to have them. Uh, I figured I could either use them for uh, backup power once I get new batteries for them. Or I could sell them either for parts or to someone else who wants to fix them, and I could put the money into more preps. Uh, so either way, it, it's a win-win situation with these, especially with this one. Uh, if I sell this one, uh, it would more than pay for both of them, plus give me some money left over. Um, that one's a, This one's actually a pure sine wave, uh, which is nice. It's like, I think, three, 400, 400 watt pure sine wave inverter. This other one is modified sine wave, but it has 800 uh, volt amps, so it's a bit more of a powerful one. This one, the smaller one with the modified sine, is more powerful than the pure sine. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking, heck, I might even just extract the pure sine inverter out of this guy and use it as just a standalone. I don't know yet. I mean, I'll need to look around and see what I can and can't do with it. But um, worst case scenario. Uh, I'll make some money on these. So, uh, it's a win-win situation for me, and for Goodwill, too. They get The money go goes to a good cause. I love shopping there. You get great deals. The money goes to a good cause. You might even make a little money off of it. So, it's a win-win for everyone. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show, uh, we've had this thing longer than I've been around, probably 20, 30 years. I'm only 17 years old, and this thing's been around as long as I can remember. Um, but for the past three or four years, it's been sitting in my grandparents' basement just not being used. Uh, and so we brought it home this Christmas break when we were up there for Christmas. Uh, and it's, I believe it's German made. Um, it's a really nice one. It's it's a cuckoo clock, German made cuckoo clock. Just want, making sure it's wound up. Uh, essentially all that happens is this thing ticks back and forth, slowly letting this middle weight down. And as it goes down, it spins the hands around the clock. And then this, this way right here, when it hits the o'clock and the half past, helps if I'm showing it the o'clock and the half past, then the cuckoo bird comes out. And that's what this one runs. Whoops, I almost stopped it there. That's what this one runs. And then this weight here runs the people in the music because these people dance around and some music plays. Uh, it's two different tunes. Um, Edelweiss and the Happy Wanderer, I guess. It's like a polka and the waltz or something. Um, yeah, I'm a weird 17-year-old. I like polkas and waltzes <laughs> better than today's music. Um, so my main thought on this is it is it's 100% EMP proof. So even when all the digital uh, watches and clocks and even battery-operated clocks are possibly dead, this thing will keep going as long as we keep pulling the weights up. There's not a single battery in here. There's not a single wire in here. Not a single light or anything in here. It's 100% mechanical. Uh, so I figured, you know, you'll still need to keep track of time after any sort of event, EMP or otherwise. 
And I figured, you know, even though it's EMP proof, it's also good for any other SHTF because it doesn't use batteries, it doesn't use electricity. Um, so anyway, I'm just, what I'm trying to say here is, yeah, I mean, it doesn't need to be a German-made cuckoo clock, but uh, something you might want to keep in your preps just to kind of help keep track of time, maybe even uh, keep, keep, you, keep you feeling a little more normal just to have a clock going off, you know, every hour or every half hour. I'd highly recommend getting some sort of mechanically operated clock, whether it's a wind-up alarm clock or a $2,000 grandfather clock. As long as, as it's mechanically operated, I'd highly recommend having one. Uh, so anyway, I wind that up every morning and evening. <laughs> Again, I'm trying to move slow. And then the last thing that I wanted to show... Why does the furnace always have to be on whenever I'm doing something like this? Whenever I'm doing a video. Uh, these were on sale about two months ago at Menards. These are 12 volt electric blankets. They take 30 watts. It's 30 watts a piece. Uh, I think they were 50, They cost $15, $15 a pop. And um, I actually got two of them. I got one for myself and I got one for my mom as a Christmas gift. Uh, so I figured that kind of be a good way get her a Christmas gift that I knew she'd be able to use and that she'd like and it's kind of a prepping thing too. Uh, the main reason I got these is because they can be plugged into my um, my solar panel set and since they only use 30 watts a piece and my panels are 80 watts uh, they're perfect for taking the chill off of a cold morning if the power is out or the furnace isn't working uh, so I thought they were really good deal there especially since the ones online are like 40 or 50 bucks and they're really the same thing as these. These were 15 bucks, so you know it just depends what you're willing to spend on. And I've been buying now. I've I've been buying duct tape like mad. <laughs> Every time it's on sale, and even sometimes when it's not, um, this is this is a non-issue. This one I actually got for Christmas. I get duct tape for Christmas every year, so non-issue. Not non-issue. I shouldn't even need to talk about it. But I'm sure there are preppers out there who haven't thought of this, and. Um, I don't know, I find so much use for it just in regular life that I don't know how I'd survive without it post-SHTF, so on. Um, you just always have duct tape. I think I've got seven rolls sitting right here on my workbench. I've probably got five or ten rolls up in my room. Um, so yeah, always good to have uh, lots of duct tape. You can use it for sealing off windows in the event of an MVC event. You can use it to repair your car, uh, radiator hoses, uh, cracks in the body, um, just leaks, fuel fuel lines, air lines, brake lines. Um, heck, if you want to really try something new, re repair a tire with it. I don't know. <laughs> but So y you can fix anything. Windows Windows, there's a good one if your window gets cracked or whatever, both in car and home. So um, I, I might do a video all about duct tape. That might be a good, good subject to have. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, <laughs> I've been just kind of changing things around in here. Um, this just as my needs have changed, I've been changing what's in here. Um, new things to go in are some CB radios I have sitting right there. Probably can't see them very well. It's dark in here. Um, but you can see I've kind of changed it up a bit. There's actually a little less in here. And I've really repacked it to be able to fit a lot more in here. Well, it's probably about the same amount, but it's down. Because before it was touching the cover, and I don't want it to be touching the cover. <coughs> so anyway, I redid that, and I it's amazing how just by repacking everything in there, how much more I was able to fit in, or how much more room I have. Oh, oh yeah, that's the roll of my dad's duct tape. He uses a lot of it too. Helps if I hit the switch. All right, there isn't much more to talk about. Uh, I'm just kind of sewing for time here. I don't know why. So I'm going to get this online right away. Ah, uh, there, that's a half hour. You can see the people dancing up there. Alright, 
I'm going to upload this and I'm going to start trying to upload videos like mad uh, just to try and uh, make up for all the time. I finally have my camera working, I finally have an SD card working for it, so um, <laughs> we're, we're finally at that point. So I'm going to be uploading a bunch of videos over the next few weeks. Just try to update on everything I've done over the pretty much the past year. Yeah. So, uh, this is High School Survival. I'll see you in the next video.